and I'm with first team manager Dave Cook after Nantwich Town's fourth qualifying round win against Kingsling Town. Dave, how are you feeling? Uh, look, fantastic. The, the lads uh, were brilliant. You know, every one of them. I mean, we go back two years when we, we had that night at Kettering and I'm looking at today's game. We've had a lot. Of, we've done a lot of uh, homework on Kings Lynn, and let's be fair, what a great footballing team they, they are. Definitely. Uh, you know, and they'll take some stopping, uh, but give credit to our lads today. Uh, we, we we watched uh, video footage of Gash and Marriott. I think he scored 13 goals, and I thought the defence, you know, didn't give them lads a kick today. And that went out through through all the teams. So you look you look at the shape of the team and what we did. Uh, we could have actually won by more goals. Uh, there's no there's no denying that. I think there was three or four clear cut opportunities, and that that must be one of the pleasing things from today, Dave. Because given the last two games that haven't gone great, when I look at chances created, we're doing the right things. Would you, would you agree with that assessment? Yeah. yeah uh, <laughs> I mean, I think in the, in this league or at our level of football, you have got to change things. And, and look, you're right. The last couple of games we haven't played anything like we can do. We changed the shape today. Uh, sometimes when you make the substitutions as well, it it, it, it gives that uh, makes the opposition think. And so I thought maybe today at times when we looked as if we needed that leg up, Joe Maswali come on for Vlad, who, who's worked his socks off, and it gives them another uh, problem. And, and the lads just continued all the way through. And, and uh, look, it was a very, very, very hard fought game. Yeah. But yeah. listen, the rewards to the first round of the FA Cup and Twitch Town as a football club, I said to all the lads before the game, this is a chance for you all to seize a little bit of glory. You know, you, you, you've been great for me. Give it everything you've got. We said the same at half time. Look, we carry on, we keep a shape, we keep working hard, and we've got to just reward. Yeah, uh, and just one other thing back back to the game. Uh, you mentioned about how well the defence was and how great the attack was, but I just want to go um, discuss about David Webb. His performance today, I mean, <coughs> he was voted man of the match. Um, do you agree with that assessment? Yeah, that? yeah, listen, David Webb's had a week away, so I think all the lads now will be saying if. If you can have that energy, and can we all go away for a week and come back as strong as him? He was, he was just immense. And I spoke to him before the game about how he can just shut people down and, and his work ethic and, and whatever. And uh, he was absolutely brilliant today. Yeah. I mean, as you know, many managers and pundits will speak about the spine, but when I look today, I'll, I've seen Greg all at the back doing his job. You've got Josh Langley there at the back. You know, David Webb in the middle and Joe Malkin up front. I think that shows how much progression you've made since last year. Is that the, the spine is probably as strong as it's ever been. Yeah, and actually that's a new spine that you're talking about yeah. because none of them players were with us last year. But no. You've also not got to forget, Carl, that, you know, Casper Hughes stuck at his task there today. Oh, without doubt. Yeah. Uh, you know, Hen Henderson is a, is a great player for them. He's lively and um, it's David nice to see him. Cook is a football genius. <laughs> It's nice. Uh, who's that? It was uh, no. it, it's uh, when he when he was going off. You just think, you know, Casper, you've done your job there today. I thought Matty Devine again was was uh, fantastic. You know, it, what a great defender he is for for this level yeah. of football and I. About now. So look, I could keep going on. Every, yeah. every one to eleven, they they were all they were all great today, and and the lads that come on played the part. And look, let's not forget Troy Bourne. He scored the winning goal. It's his first start of the season, which he's, he's, he's been unlucky not to start. Uh, he's got his chance today. He's trained so hard. He looks to me physically stronger now. And look, fantastic okay. for him. I mean, one, one last question, obviously, going on to Monday night, you know, uh, 7 o'clock, BBC Two, uh, the draw of the first round of FA Cup. You're the only manager at this club to have done it twice. Uh, which obviously you must be proud about, um, but who do you want? I would like us to be the last ball out so that we uh, <laughs> get the bye to the second and round. And get the prize money too. Um, but that... if we don't get that lucky <coughs> draw, who would you really like? Is there anyone out there that...? Uh, I think Sunderland away would be a, yeah. be a great great one. I think Clive and Anne would like Bradford City away. 
But look, we're in the first round. Let's enjoy it. Let's enjoy the the, the draw. And uh, look, the FA Cup is a, the best competition in the world.